Hello, welcome to another edition of the Agile Uprising podcast. I'm Andy Claff and my co-host tonight, fellow board member Troy Lightfoot, and Andrew Leff, not to be confused with Andrew Cleff. Troy, how are you? I'm fantastic. How are you guys? I'm doing great. And Andrew, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, not to be confused with Andy Cleff. Nice. Nice, nice. So, so listeners, we've made a pilgrimage to the mountains of Utah, and we're coming to you live from none other than the lodge at Snowbird Ski Resort. Now, we've been scouting around the lodge, and, and while we can't get into the actual room where something unusual happened in 2001, we, because workmen, they're doing some renovations there, we've been hanging out in the halls. Um, and so if there's some background noise, um, that's what's going on. Whoa, whoa, guys, look, the door's wide open. You, you want to go in? Let's do it. Let's do it. They're pulling up the carpet. They're doing renovations. What's that over there? It looks like some discarded sticky notes, like a, a pile of four left. Pick them up. What, can you grab them? I don't know if I want to touch them, but all right, for the <laughs> sake of science, I'll do it. Really? Like 17-year-old crusty Post-it notes. What's it say on it? <laughs> So, this first one says, we value politics and power over delighted customers. Politics and power over delighted customers. That's interesting. Let me see one of those. This one, hold on a second. I'm having trouble reading it. There's something crossed out on it. Responding to change. It's all scribbled out. Following a plan that scribbled. And, and then... Outputs and velocity over happy employees or business outcomes. Well, yeah, I, I get that one. Troy, can you read? Look at this one. What's this one say? I, honestly, I, I'm having a hard time seeing. There is something scribbled out, something about individuals and processes, but it looks like written over top of it, it says middle management waste over lean self-organizing teams. Huh. <laughs> Wait, Lev, can you read that fourth one? Yeah, again, there's there's lots of things crossed out on these, and it looks like there was something about software over documentation, but that was crossed out. It looks like it's emphasized delivery over PowerPoint decks where everything is green over shipping working software. Well, that that makes total sense. Like. Wait, let's let's just straighten these out and let's let me let me see if I can read them again. Um, we value politics and power over delighted customers, right? That makes sense. Outputs and velocity over happy employees or business outcomes, right? 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 Middle management waste over lean self organizing. Who needs lean self organizing teams and delivery of PowerPoint decks where everything is green over shipping working software. And wait, there's this other one. Uh, there's a title here. It's like they're they're trying to figure out what this all means. Fragile values. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I, w- I really wonder how we can apply all these when we get back to the team room. I think this stuff is going to fit right back into a corporate America. All right. It's got it's got to, yeah. I mean, makes sense. It's got a lot of got a lot of potential, I'll say that. Right? Right? Um, I we practice all these values every day. So uh, uh, hold on a second. Um, producers pinging me here in Slack. We need to take a brief break from our discussion. Some words from our sponsors. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me, listeners. We need to take a brief break from our discussion. A few words from our sponsors who will help those looking to take their organizations to the next level. Do you feel unsafe with safe? Is less not giving you more? Does dad keep mom up at night? Sometimes agile scaling framework choices are wrong. Sunk cost, culture change, blah, blah, blah. Maybe what your organization needs to succeed is to ship dip your employees in the agile river and put the perfume on the pig of progress. I'm Wellington Dowd, and I have a product that can help make your agile transformation look like Princess Diana even though in reality, it more than likely resembles Stormy Daniels after a week with Donald Trump at his golf course. Our product will get all your people saying the exact same things, even if they're completely superficial and absolutely disingenuous. Our product is titled The Foundation Utilizing Core Knowledge 
to actualize realistic delivery. Our framework builds on multiple lifetimes of experience from agile charlatans, snake oil salesmen, and agile confidence men to ensure every member of your enterprise is using the same buzzwords and vapid nomenclature without really changing anything substantial. The foundation utilizing core knowledge to actualize realistic delivery framework is a multi-level phase-gated process to roll out the agile to your organization without actually changing anything. The foundation utilizing core knowledge to actualize realistic delivery framework also helps ensure that any outside orders your organization brings in to actually assess your transformation will pass you with flying colors mainly because they're as vapid as this program. So if you're looking to take your organization to the next level, but only for appearance's sake, check out the Foundation Utilizing Core Knowledge to Actualize Realistic Delivery Framework. Side effects may include accusations of buzzword bingo, lack of buying from employees at lower levels, and senior executives paying less attention than they do now. If you see any of these side effects, you should double down and push to utilize the framework even harder. These statements have not been reviewed by any agile certifying organization, professional society, or Pornhub for validity. Well, and we're back, and I, I wouldn't worry too much about all those side effects. It's really nothing. Fake side effects, <laughs> if you ask me. Oh, my God. Hey, guys, behind that radiator is a bunch of sheets of paper. Can you can you grab – can you reach – left, can you reach back there? you got long arms. Yeah, yeah, I'll reach back there. I'll try not to be a germaphobe today. What do you see? So, interesting. Something dealing with key principles – uh, number one, it looks like we have a bunch of numbers here. And, and number one, learn what motivates your resources. It's funny, people's crossed out there. <clears throat> and take it away. Use the stick. Carrots are overrated. Are we beating our people? I, I know that I beat mine on a daily basis. We only beat resources, not people. Uh, got it. Got it. That's the difference. Yeah, that's, I forgot. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. why they crossed out people. What's it? Uh, Troy, what's that second one? Can you make out that second one? Yeah. It's uh, measure employee NPS, then weaponize it. Happy people are not productive people. Worried people are productive. Makes total sense to me. Yeah. Fear. That yeah. fear component, you, you know, you got to rule with the iron fist. Shit, it's really powerful. Let me let me see what else is there. Number three, promote transparency, trust, and safety, <laughs> and then crush someone who speaks up. I love that. That is just like the perfect management principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> well, it leads into this fourth one. Managers must constantly demonstrate how much more they know than their stupid underlings. God, this stuff is so coherent. Yeah, What's that fifth one say? <laughs> so <laughs> agile project managers and developers must work together daily throughout the project so the PMs can verify their status reports. So, wow, if I didn't have a RAG status, I'm not sure I would know what to do throughout the day. Yeah. Right? Another one here that says, continuous accrual of technical debt should emerge from trying to meet unrealistic dates. <laughs> yeah. Well, how else are you going to meet the dates, right? Yeah. That, that's just so logical. I mean, something's got to give, so it, it should be quality. And so build a debt. And you know what? That makes total sense because the time you ship, you're off the project and you leave the debt for somebody else. It's not, that makes so much more sense. Oh, here's one. Here's, I love this one. It's about meetings. There, there had to be some principle about meetings. The more meetings one is invited to, the more important one is. A full calendar is the primary measure of a good manager. Total sense. Yeah. I mean, if you're not triple booked, I mean, come on, you're not even trying. I know. I, that's why I carry three phones, so I can attend all those meetings at once. Oh, you dial in. I never thought about that. That is just yeah. such a great tip. Can't be present. Can't be present. So I, I think we have another one here about the highest paid person's opinion is really the only one that matters. Well, that's just common sense. Right? Yeah, of course. That's why I'm the highest paid. I mean, that's yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's that ninth one, Troy? Okay, it says, when in doubt, have a meeting. And never invite less than 12 people. Half full conference rooms are wasteful. I, these are all tying together, right? That, that goes up with the more meetings. So, so hey, Lef, 
Well, maybe just if you don't want to reveal this trade secret. So when you've got multiple phones dialed in, are, are you going from meeting room to meeting room? You just like you pretend you have to step out to take a call. You go into the next conference room, pretend you're there. No, I just take it from my desk. Oh, you take it from your desk. But ev- everyone that is in the meeting is at their desk as well. So it's like we're all in the same room. Got it. Got it. 10, 11, and 12. 10. 10. Always branch email communication to ensure complete alignment around multiple messages. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part, plausible deniability. Yeah, I wasn't on that thread. I love that one. <laughs> Yeah, got to got to have the CYA on that or the blame right? storming session. It's important. Yeah. What are those last two? Uh, if it's not in, in a PowerPoint deck, it doesn't exist. <laughs> and use a lot of green, very light green. Green equals good, red equals bad. No one likes bad news. Well, we all know bad news, you know, does get better with age. So let's hide it. I mean, that's that's just yeah. simple logic. Right? Yeah. And that ties back into the fifth, the fifth principle about agile project managers working with the developers, you know, so the PMs can beat the developers into saying everything's fine. And uh, that ties into the, the technical debt, number six. This is so coherent. What's that last one, Troy? The status quo is the safest path. When in doubt, leave things the way you found them. Don't change a thing. That way, no one can ever blame you. Interesting. Yeah, no one likes to be the single throat to choke, right? Right? Wasn't in the meeting, didn't get the deck. I, geez, I wasn't on that PowerPoint. I yeah. wasn't on that email thread. Dog, These make so much sense homework. to me. <laughs> this makes so much sense. So all this time, I've been doing Agile 1.0 by the book, you know, that, that previous manifesto. And no wonder I'm not getting the results I was promised. I've been doing it all wrong. Yeah, clearly we all have. Clearly, we all have. So what do you think? We should publish these somewhere, guys? Definitely. Yeah. I'm actually going to take this into my teams and and put it up on the the team wall. You know, all working agreements are out the window. Is there some certification path for this? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. We could call it, I, I don't know, do we have a creative name for it maybe? Yeah, I got it. Fragile Certified Practitioner. There you go. I like that. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's beautiful. Well, another episode of power and politics winning over delighted customers and happy employees and better business outcomes. Oh, my God. This is, uh, this is just a great sad sequel. Hey, so, guys, um, it looks like the workers are coming back. I'm sure you're going to kick us out of here. Um, what do you guys got coming up? You got some events that you want to share with our listening audience? I got one. Um, it's at the White House, okay? And it's advising uh, Trump Jr. on better ways of managing up while in a Kinefin domain of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I've got one. So, so Mr. Mueller's called me up, and he wants me to, uh, to work with him to use Kanban to improve his cycle time from intake to impeachment. So I'm going to put some okay. CFDs together and uh, see how things are going for him. Uh, okay. Lev, what do you got going? Um, trying to rack my brain around a couple of these. So there's so many. Um, Stormy Daniels seems to be having a user story writing about how to get better end results through real-time documentation. That, that's that's <laughs> a good one. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm getting a slack here from Colleen. She couldn't join us. Uh, for this trip, but she said just to make it a point that she's going to be out in Panmunjom shortly facilitating a retrospective on the uh, <laughs> July 1953rd armistice between North and South Korea. Uh, they just wanted to see, you know, what, what everybody liked and what everybody lacked from that one. Well, that's going to be a um, good one. That's going to be a good one. I, I, I think maybe even um, Trump Sr. might even be facilitating that one. Yeah, okay. that's I'm attending. I might have to book my trip. <laughs> How about the uh, mayor of D.C. setting up a safe value, st- value stream and a relief train to organize each branch of our nation's military for their parade this coming Veterans Day? 
Oh man, he is going to need some help, isn't he? Yeah, like he's show some, for us, baby. Some XPPs, big time. Really? Well, that's it. Oh wait, wait. Uh, Merms, Merms dialing in. He's he's going down to Mexico, meeting up with the uh, the, the president Enrique Pina Nieto to discuss uh, radical collaboration, <laughs> specifically for things such as budgeting for large scale construction projects. So he's good. Anybody here from um, Ryan? What's he up to? What's he doing this coming month? It looks like he's got some sort of iterative development for self-driving cars, getting them to be able to navigate a car wash without going into safe mode. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm sure that has something to do with DevOps in some way. I'm sure. I, I, <laughs> I thought I thought he had a gig. Maybe it fell through. He was going to talk to Elon Musk about managing uh, his Mars-bound container ships with Kubernetes, but maybe he's double blocked. Yeah, yeah. Or he's doing both. You know, that, yeah. he's all did, over the place. Did we miss anybody? Um, what's Horse Cow doing? He's got to be doing something, right? Wasn't he headed over to China? Uh, isn't he doing something with that three X programming? Explore, expand, extract. Something fitting punishments fitting. to the crime. <laughs> neither over under doing things getting rid of unnecessary constraints like term limits who needs them <laughs> and, and I think I think Cusack's doing something over with the Russians about Bitcoin oh right global influence without documentation yeah yeah I know he's he's really he's really into that cryptocurrency stuff yeah so you guys want to go over to Cliff Spa or, or maybe the Lodge Bistro. I hear they have a really nice selection of wine, draft beers, and liquors. Yeah. Yeah, we can use yeah. some of these uh, stickies as uh, coasters. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. I think we've discovered some really fantastic artifacts. Artifacts? That's artifacts. A- I don't even need any liquor yet. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you to our listening audience. If you really enjoyed this episode, uh, give us a rating. Leave us some comments on iTunes. Uh, if you hated it, don't don't do anything. In fact, why are you still listening? <laughs> Actually, don't give us a rating. That would be better. <laughs> if this is your first time tuning in, don't judge us. Come on, listen, subscribe, listen to the next one. Postmodern versus Caveman Agile. So that'll be a, a much nicer show. Um, if you'd like to join the discussion and share your stories about what you found swept under the carpet in the team room, come on over to the coalition.agileuprising.com and And one more thing, support from listeners like you. Help us cover our beer, liquor, and travel budget. Uh, See the show notes for details and become a patron. Help keep our glasses full. Until next time, this is the Agile Podcast, signing out.